Well, hello there, guys. This is a ROM review. Oh, God. Text message. Okay. This is a review of the um, Meizu MX Flame OS. Um, this is a really nice ROM. Like, it's completely different than any other ROM I have ever seen. Um, Flame OS is what is what the developer is calling it. Um, it, basically what this is, is it's a port of a ROM from the China Chinese manufactured phone called the Meizu MX. Now the reason why we could get this ported to our phone with a bunch of everything, just about everything working, is because the Meizu MX runs an Exynos chipset, which means it has the proper process... Uh, architecture libraries and processor libraries to well run and get everything working so so it has full hardware support thanks to both the ROM and or thanks to this OS being ported on top of an Exynos library set so what's different about this ROM it completely it redefines Android even farther than what my UI does. Like, this is completely different than anything my UI could ever dish out. Like, they changed everything up. So, let's start off with the basics. As you can see, like my UI, there is no app drawer. Um, so, yeah, but it's but the apps aren't boxy like my UI. So, the apps don't have forever forever boxes around them of different colors depending on what app it is I prefer this approach over than the boxy look it just makes it look almost a lot better than what my UI dished out but who's the judge so um, this is the notification bar you can pull it down but it doesn't pull down all the way unless you have like five or more notifications so you have toggles right up there um, then you have your time, date, and all that. If you ha if you had notifications, and it would let you X out of them. Then you have this little network monitor, which you can toggle GSM only, 3G. I'm on a CDMA, so I don't know why GSM's there. But anywho, and if you if I had an airplane mode turned off, I could toggle um, which Wi-Fi I'm running on. Then you have your um, your notifications down there and it says airplane mode so a part of having no app drawer it is yeah so this ROM is amazingly smooth I've noticed there are there is a little bit of lag because it's not jelly bean it's still ice cream sandwich based so let's go to about phone Android 4.0.4 .4, device name Meizu MX but that's only yeah so f software version flame Model number D710. Um, yeah, system updates will force close the settings. Also, pressing the network right above display that'll force close the the settings as well. Sadly, it will. So there's no work around that. The only way you can turn off and on off data is through the toggles. So it kind of sucks. You have this customization where you can add widgets to all the home screens, add new home screens if you wanted, and yeah, so that's that. Let me go back to that. You have a theme manager, but theme manager does not work because it's, this is not an official Meizu MX device. Um, the Meizu MX services are only available for official Meizu MX devices. So, yeah, then you have live wallpapers. It only comes with one and it has its overscroll bounce. I kind of like the bounce. It's not. It's it's really good. Then all the wallpapers it comes with, and yeah, I would go to the gallery wallpapers, but this is my personal phone. Um, Wi-Fi is not available in flight mode. This is not available in flight mode. Display. You have you can set how how bright the light keys are. They don't get bright. They don't get any brighter just to tell you it doesn't really work but um yeah auto brightness I keep off sleep one minute how many times how long you want things to sleep font size 
it only has normal and large wish it had small sound you can choose silent mode vibrate fade in fade fade in um, camera shutter I don't want camera shutter um, keyboard I would like keyboard sounds and yeah so you can message tone all these ringtones and yeah so that's sound settings accounts security it only has one password lock and it's that that's the only password lock it has um, the lock screen is really nice um, storage just tells you your storage compartments internal disk external disk date and time local locale or something is your keyboards but for some reason the IME switcher doesn't even pop up so you're basically stuck on swipe you can turn off Google Voice typing though but other than that you're basically stuck on swipe because it says Android keyboard but it doesn't let you switch to it for some reason unless I'm missing something it doesn't let you switch to it which does kinda suck really it does okay then about phone so those are it for the settings um, other than that there's really not much of a difference to this ROM it has Google now implemented into it but that's the ROM developer who's doing that music let's look at our music so you have all songs which has your songs your folders or your songs albums or songs artists and albums there we go and you can search pretty sure yeah you can search and then down here will bring you into your music library which you can check the lyrics you can you can do all sorts of things so yeah and then yeah, I can see it by folders and whatnot. I would show you the text messaging app, but it has personal data. This is the browser that it comes with. Um, one of the bugs is it force closes whenever you play an HTML5 video. Last player. Um, so yeah, so let me look at the XDA forum. All right, so this is the Flame Boys Flame OS. Um, this is what it looks like. That's the, what the lock screen looks like. You just slide it up and it'll give you your lock screen. And then this ROM is poured up, is based off the OS for Meizu MX phone. Um, so yeah. What's working? Phone, SMS, MMS, data, internal, external storage. Not working? WiMAX. Network settings. Uh, call recording, sound recorder, APK, force closes. Um, yeah. And those are the bugs. And other than that, it's pretty much a daily driver for me. I like it, and I hope you guys will like it too. Alright guys, thank you. This is an in-depth review, Mad Metal Guy videos, and this is Flame OS.